Okay, so today we're going to start with the element of line. And as far as I'm concerned, there's two different types of lines. There's actually lines that you can actually see in the artwork and there's the lines that you have to imagine in the artwork. So in this lesson, I want to talk about the ones that you can see and how to draw them and how not to draw them. A lot of people tell me that they can't even draw a straight line and I usually tell them, well, let me show you that. So let's get started with that. And I want to start with showing you some of the common mistakes that people make in drawing lines and then how I learned how to draw lines. First one is the what I call the hard liner. So that's this guy here who does this. And then what turns out is that it's impossible to erase. So what ends up happening is the next type of, of line drawer I, I've, I recognize is the searcher. So this is somebody who will draw like this. And in a way, that's really good because at least they're drawing very lightly, so it's pretty easy to erase. But it also looks like everything has kind of like a fur fur coat over it. Then we have the very slow and careful one. Okay, slow and careful one goes really carefully, but in doing so, it's actually very hard to control what you're doing. So as a result, quite often the slow one also goes and pushes a little harder to give themselves more control. But now we're back at being a hardliner and it's hard to erase and we're gonna end up crumpling it up and throwing it away again. This is a little bit like when you're riding a bike. If you go too slowly, you won't be able to ride in a straight line. If you go too fast, you'll get out of control. So how do you do this right? First of all, I want you to think about looking where you want your line to end up. So if you want to start your line here and you want to end your line here, then you're going to look here. If you think about a baseball pitcher or a quarterback, they always look where they want their ball to go when they throw it. They don't look at the ball as they throw it. They look at where they want to go. It works the same with drawing. So just a straight line like that, knowing where you're going to end and looking there rather than looking at your pencil. That's the first thing. The second thing is, as you can see, I'm holding the pencil a little further away from the tip than I would do if I was actually writing my name. Okay, so I'm holding it a little bit further back. That makes sure that I'm not pressing too hard. Okay, I can have a little bit more control of how hard I'm pressing. Then the next thing is, keep your wrist straight. Okay, this is really, really important. You keep your wrist straight and you let your movement come from your elbows and from your shoulders okay kind of like a robot arm you have a lot more control because this this is where you lose a lot of control as well your wrist can do so many awesome things but it also means that if you want to draw a straight line you will have a hard time with that don't go too slow and don't go too fast you gotta experiment what direction is most comfortable for you to draw and then you can turn the paper in whatever direction that's easier. So for me, for instance, I I can't, I don't like drawing this direction. It doesn't work for me. I like, I don't mind going this way and I like going that way a little bit less. If I wanted to draw a line that went from the top of this page to the bottom, I'd probably just move the page like this. And, and ways you can practice this stuff is by drawing a lot of lines in different directions. Go different directions and now you can feel, does this work for you? I don't like this. See, you can see how this, this angle does not work very well for me. So maybe, you know, just, but it probably is good for me to practice that. A great warm up for drawing before you start any artwork. It's just drawing lines all sorts of different directions. The other thing that works really well, that's really good. And that again, holding your wrist straight and letting movement come from your elbow and your shoulders is drawing circles, trying to draw good circles, small ones, big ones, try to get good circles. It's really great for teaching yourself control. For now, just keep practicing those lines.